welcome back to and this guide in today's video we are going to show you how to send bcc email in gmail let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on gmail i need you to click on the create an account option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go sending bcc or blind carbon copy emails in gmail allows you to send an email to multiple recipients without revealing their email addresses to each other i find it very useful for maintaining privacy and preventing recipients from seeing who else received the email okay because most of the time the bcc or the blind carbon copy allows you to send to multiple recipients it can enhance the professionalism of your communications especially when sending emails to a large group of recipients or to business contacts it's a very easy and a straightforward process because all you're gonna do is go to the recipients tab you see an option that says cc or copy in and the bcc now from here type in the email address that you want and for example i'm going to be putting in any guide at outlook.com and there you go i've added andy guide at outlook.com now the bcc prevents recipients from using reply all to respond to everyone listed in the email this reduces the chances of unnecessary replies and email clutter especially in large group communications now if you um basically if you send this the end guide will receive this and he's not basically um you know actually uh, copied in in the email instead it is useful when forwarding sensitive or confidential information to multiple parties who should not be aware of each other's contact details and i believe it ensures that communications remain confidential and secure and all they're going to do is click on send now in the event that you are having problems sending bcc mail on your gmail account you might want to go here instead this is the official gmail help center and from here you might want to click in the describe your issue press enter to see if you get a result all right or maybe you can just post the to the help community if to see if we get an answer all right just post a question and then from here you can also put in some um, photo as attachment and after that click on category and of course send and to see if you get an answer that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video